We had a people power change uh, workshop we're running uh, with Big Lottery Fund and uh, I've met up with uh, Eileen Conn and uh, we last met at a workshop organised by Third Sector Research Centre on small groups and Eileen had a really interesting point about how supporting and managing small groups is very different from that with larger groups. And I think, Eileen, you had an analogy with atoms. I did indeed, and I think that it's interesting that the workshop that we met at was organised in the Beyond the Radar research stream. Uh, and what it means by Beyond the Radar is that it's just not like what is normally counted. Uh, in all the statistics, all the data, all the policies that are made on managing charities and voluntary sector organisations, there is, it's estimated between half and three quarters of all the... Uh, civic activity in this country isn't countable. And so what my analogy with the, with the atom is, is that physicists have been searching for hundreds of years for the smallest bits of matter. And when they found them, they discovered that actually sometimes they weren't matter at all, but they were energy waves. And I think that's a very useful analogy. In the community, there are sometimes bits of matter that you can actually recognize that look like the things that we think of in the organized world organized groups, the ways in which people do things, but a large part of the time they're not like that at all, quite justifiably and legitimately, because they're like energy waves. And in fact, that's a major part of successful beyond-the-radar activity, is peer-to-peer -peer networking and sharing, and it's like an energy wave. That doesn't mean to say that we, it doesn't need managing and it doesn't have good governance issues. It does, but they have to be very, very different from the ones that are traditionally understood in the organized world of work. And unfortunately, the voluntary sector is pressed by the world at large through funding programs to make this other thing, which I call the horizontal peer system, make, look, look like itself. And that, of course, is making it all look like bits of matter. And then, of course, what do we do? We lose the life in the energy wave, and that's the critical part. And how does that come through practically in the sort of conversations that people in small groups have with each other compared with large organizations and the sort of way in which they they work well i think that one of the things is that people indeed as i've been experiencing here today the majority of people here are professionals with a particular kind of role whether they're employed by full-time by an organization is not the point but they're working in that world the vast majority, maybe even 99% of the people we're talking about that's beyond the radar, aren't employed by anybody to do the things that they're doing in the horizontal peer world. They may have some remote connection with something they're employed to do somewhere else. So the circumstances in which they are existing in relationship to each other is, is just very different. They live by personal relationships which have no contractual uh, context at all and so the psychological world in which they do these activities is just very different. I've forgotten what your question was now. <laughs> That's fine and is there anything uh, you think that Big Lottery Fund could do to help beyond funding and funding can be a problem sometimes when a group suddenly has to, to deal with, with money. Well I, there is something that I think I would like and I've been putting in, in this particular discussion which is that the horizontal peer in neighbourhoods does need back office support, very, very uh, specifically designed to create to support their particular needs. Nobody is funded to do that at all because nobody's even recognised the need for it. The community anchor organisations in neighbourhoods are the perfect place to do these. I think we, I would look for an innovative programme from organizations like the Big Lottery to work with people in neighborhoods, community anti organizations, people like myself who are community activists who thought long and hard about this to design some kind of project where we can experiment with what would be the back office for community activists.